Hopefully everyone has had to adapt in some way during this pandemic and when resources aren't as available as usual, different nonprofit organizations have to adapt to meet the needs of their community. I'm Tanzani Johnson has the story. Nonprofit organizations are known for their want to help others, but what does that look like in the middle of a pandemic when resources might not be as available? The needs are so great that the resources coming in are either a little bit slow to get to people in terms of some of the federal supports um, and just not inadequate federal supports. It's hard because um, without that face-to-face -face contact and without the ability to build those relationships and really connect with those families, sometimes they're reluctant to ask for help. And it's, it's a challenge to be able to still provide for our seniors in our area and you know we not, can't necessarily you know visit them and assist them every single day like we used to so we've certainly had to adapt those services as well. At first it was kind of scary because we needed a lot of food and we needed it quickly. So how have these nonprofits been able to stay afloat during a pandemic? It's a very generous community. Um, we are a very a community that looks out for each other and takes care of each other. Um, so I have been repeatedly impressed with how um, our other nonprofits have worked together. We've had you know some revelations come out of this as well that you know, we're thankful for that, oh yeah, we can provide services virtually and online to people and that actually gets people those resources better. The community has been incredible. They truly have. We've seen some new donors that we never, you know, we never worked with before and it's just exciting to see people caring for each other. That's the best part. There's so many ways you can help out. You never know when what you have is the answer to someone's problem. Reporting in Bozeman, Annie Johnson, MTN News.